Take me to Candyland. Ooh, take me to Candyland. Sweeter than sugar, you doing that dancey thing. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, today's an exciting day. I made the slightest upgrade possible to my channel. Something a lot of people have been asking for is a microphone. So I have this hooked up to my phone right now. I don't know if it's making any difference. I hope it is. Welcome back to the Sarah Classic channel. I am clearly working on upgrading my channel because I am in the works of something very exciting that hasn't happened yet. And it's looking like it might not. My goal is to bowl with Judeon. If you don't know Judeon, this is him. So with the lions and apes and bears, you probably won't make it there. Let's go. You boys want to warm up real quick? Can we get 10 minutes of practice? 10 minutes of practice? <laughs> All right. He basically just trolls the internet and everybody in the real world too. Just funny stuff. His videos are hilarious. Please go check them out. He's made a couple bowling videos and I think he likes to bowl. He just prefers to bowl with like a coconut or a watermelon. And I know he probably gets a lot of hate from bowlers because he showed up to a regional in Crocs. He showed up to a tournament with a coconut and you know, bowlers are probably like, who's this guy? It's so rude and offensive, blah, blah. But I think it's hilarious. And I think when people are in the wrong like that, you have to educate them. So I could teach him how to bowl. I'm working on it. Please head over to my Instagram right here and comment on my most recent video tagging him because I really want to make this happen and I think it'd be cool for the sport of bowling, you know? He has over 6 million subscribers and it's just funny. So I think it'd be a really fun experience. Clearly, in order to get into contact with him, I have to try and reel in a different characteristics of subscribers. Really have to expand what I'm doing. The first way I'm gonna do that is engaging with the hype beast community. So I'm here today bowling in an essentials hoodie and these dunks. They're Sun Club dunks. <laughs> this is phase one of trying to get into contact with Jadeon. I will be emailing him, DMing him, tagged him in my Instagram post, tagged him on Facebook, tagged him in a YouTube short. We just haven't got there yet, but it's still early. I'm, I know it's gonna happen, I'm manifesting it. <laughs> I also hope by the time he comes on my channel, I have like an actual vlog camera and not some busted up $20 microphone. <laughs> it's a work in progress, we're gonna do it. Today's video is going to be doing some one-step drills and I'm wearing sneakers so that I don't take full approach shots. I might just to see what happened because Another thing I was thinking of is how come over the years bowling shoes have changed so much? Like back in the day they used to be like wood bottoms. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like these? And now they're all fuzzy and slippery. I don't know. What's the point? Let me know in the comments. Also before y'all come screaming at me in the comments about these dunks. These were for sale by the way and nobody bought them so I decided to use them as bowling shoes. So they're clean on the bottom, okay? and they're dry and I'm not gonna hurt anybody putting these on the lanes. Because of course I understand that normally you do not wear outdoor shoes on the bowling lanes. You get bowling shoes, blah, blah. But there are many people who bowl in sneakers that I know are really good bowlers. First of all, my boyfriend. <laughs> Second of all, Joe Grande, good bowler. So this is my take on it. Again, I don't even know if I'm gonna throw a full approach shot, but if I do, please don't come at my neck. See, everything's fine. Nothing on the land. Had to pause. After that shot, I went and like rubbed the bottom of my shoe like that. <laughs> Weird. <laughs>
hear me better now. So now going back to the actual bowling side of things, I noticed in my videos that my swing is coming out too much inside. So when I find this happening, I like to do some drills where I push the ball like to the left, exaggerating, and then just let my swing kind of like figure eight back close to my ankle. Okay, so I'm gonna try that a few times and I'm gonna try to exaggerate it a whole bunch so that you can see what I'm doing. Some people can do it, but I am way too afraid to take a full pro shot because I tried one step and I tripped over my own feet a couple times. So we're probably gonna stick to bowling shoes, but maybe I can make these into bowling shoes using the heel and the slide off another pair of shoes, you know? Somebody else could try this, but it ain't for me. Thank you for watching this first episode of High Peace Bowling. I hope we can get into contact with you, Dion, for a collab, but like I said, it's not looking too promising. So we're gonna keep trying, and if you're watching this, Judeon, I can promise I can bowl five steps, but it's just a training tactic, so 